Hello, my name is Kaylee Snow, and this is my philosophy lecture. What is truth? Is my truth, your truth, and God's truth all the same equivalent of the truth? What is the real truth? Merriam-Webster's New World Dictionary 2003 defines truth as being true, reality, accuracy, or that which is true. While the reality of one's daily life is different for each individual, the truth is still the truth. A person can claim a falsity as my truth, but the falsity is still false, unlike the inaccurate claim of Protagoras' philosophy. R.C. Sproul lays out the reasoning and beliefs of Protagoras in his book, The Consequences of Ideas, stating, quote, perception is reality. Thus, something can be true for one person and different and false for another. Protagoras' reasoning is still faulty to an extent. For example, if someone says that a potato is an eggplant and claims that their statement is true, the potato is still a potato, no matter what one may speak. Truth is something that directly corresponds with virtue. What is virtue? Virtue, according to Merriam-Webster, is general moral excellence or specific moral quality regarded as good. Socrates, however, defines virtue as right knowledge, which directly relates to the character and can be greatly influenced by the way a person is raised, taught, or the conviction of the whole experience in them. Thus, if one does not know the truth of right and wrong, one cannot have virtue because one must do right to have virtue. If a person or civilization is without virtue, it is without morals. If a few people in the civilization, however, have virtue, the civilization as a whole is still without virtue, but the few individuals are not without virtue. What is a civilization? A civilization is, by Merriam-Webster's definition, civilizing or being civilized. A nation containing truth, virtue, and civilization is what many would consider the American dream. Just to realize that there is a lack of all three of those things in the United States of America in 2023. This principle of abandoning civilization, virtue, and truth, which can be witnessed in America's modern day culture, demonstrates Socrates' philosophy. Socrates, in his brilliance, realized something about truth, virtue, and civilization that most people don't realize until the fall of the civilization. So Socrates realized that the absence of one of these things would equal the absence of all three things, which ends in barbarianism and lawless chaos. Socrates, however, was not the only historical thinker who realized this. Francis Schaeffer also figured out the connection between virtue, truth, and civilization and the consequences of abolishing them. The perfect example of this is modern day America. Our current society has banned truth and replaced it with the sinful lies of Satan. The society says that men can give birth and that one can mutilate themselves enough to become the opposite gender and advocates the killing of innocent babies through abortion. On top of this, society has been infiltrated with and normalizes crime, deception, and other forms of sin, bringing the society to a near collapse. America is not the country it used to be. The once bold and beautiful has become the weak and cowardice, repeating the history of the empire of Rome and many other societies that have come and gone before it. How and why has this happened, one may wonder. Well, it is because, as Francis Schaeffer describes in How Should We Then Live, that the Bible is not the ultimate authority for the laws being made in the nation. Non-contradictory morals, truths, and standards can only be found in the Bible, and man can, man can make a feeble attempt to create his own standards, morals, and truths, but it is impossible for man to avoid human biases and make accurate godly standards without double standards. If man creates his own rules as truth, standard, or moral law, he is denying God and making a God of himself. 
Whenever man has tried to make a god of himself throughout all of history, as Francis Schaeffer states, quote, they failed, end quote. In conclusion, something very important to be learned from the vicious cycle of humanism stated above is that man needs God, is nothing, and can do nothing without him. Man, however, as Philippians 4.13 states, can do everything through Christ who strengthens. A crucial concept in the above philosophies is to follow God's rules and not your own, as stated in Revelation 22.18-19. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this scroll. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to them. God will add to that person the plagues described in the scroll. And if anyone takes words away from the scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in the scroll. Thank you. This concludes my speech.